What's up, peeps? It's your boy, k -Seal. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. Adrian Broner is an embarrassment. He's an embarrassment. Represents everything that goes wrong in the hood. Just represents everything that you know, none black people are scared of when it comes to black people. That's him. That's him. And he thinks he's keeping it 100. You're not keeping it 100 by refusing to grow up. You're not keeping it 100 by surrounding yourself with yes men. Dudes that just want their hands in your pocket. You're not keeping it 100 by cursing out people that are just doing their jobs and, and being ghetto at every turn. Every chance you get, you're not you're not keeping it 100. You ain't represent no hood. What hood you represent? People that represent the hood try to get out of the hood, try to make some of themselves, try to be respectable, work hard. Those are the people in the hood that I grew up around. You know, want to give back. You want to help somebody else make it out the hood. You know, want to promote education. Want to promote being successful. You're not representing the hood, bro. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing me. I can't speak for all black people, but you're embarrassing me as a black man. Um, and the more you lose, the the worse you get, cause you uh, you know it's coming to an end. You know, it, I've been watching it. I've been watching you. I've been watching this dude. Your whole career. I thought it was cool at first. You know, it's like, okay, you're trying to get on the map. You know, got his daddy brushing his hair and, you know, all the stuff he used to say. But as he see his career slipping into the twilight and you're becoming a gatekeeper, for those of my, my people that, that um, aren't boxing fanatics, you, gatekeepers are the ones that you put in the ring with the young lines to make sure that, uh, you know, to give them their final test before you see if they're really a contender. And that's the status you're going to, A.B. Nobody takes you seriously anymore. I didn't think you would win. The fight went exactly the way I predicted, the way I thought it would, the way I told all my boys and everybody that asked me about the fight. Stop being a coon. That ain't cool. I don't care if you hear this. Come on, man. Get it together. You got people that look up to you, people in that same hood that look up to you, and they think it's cool to talk the way you talk and, and, and do the things you do. Money run out. And before you know it, all your friends are going to be gone. And all you're going to have is popularity and a whole bunch of kids. So get it together, man. Take your, your, take your, your platform seriously. You know, show people how to be successful. You are a rich, young black man. You don't have to act the way you act now. You know that the fighting people and the, the assaults and stuff that you've gotten yourself involved in. Come on, man. And you know what? I'm disappointed in Kevin Cunningham, his trainer, for those of you that don't know. Kevin, you knew that dude was losing that fight. You one of the best, you one of the best trainers on the planet. And you in there telling him, yeah, he's doing good. Kevin Cunningham, you lost some respect in my book. You get yourself together. I know he cut you a check. But it's your job to get the best out of this dude. And you didn't do that. And during the fight, everybody knew he was losing. And you kept, come on, Kevin Cunningham. Get it together. You, you, you 50% responsible for what we just saw in that Jim Gray interview. Because Adrian Broner trusts you and believed you. But no, nah, you worry about your check. Get it together, Kevin Cunningham and Adrian Broner. Stop embarrassing us. Be better than that.